Howdy do Instagram, YouTube, whoever is watching today. We're covering how we made a 15 second intro to one of our newest videos. This is carp fishing on the fly. Uh, we got a lot of compliments on this. A lot of people talking about how it's some of the best editing they've ever seen. I will not take that type of credit. I would like to say I just kind of put this together on the fly. It took like 30 minutes. And I'm going to showcase how we did it. Because uh, as complex as it may seem, there's a lot of simplicity in it. And so we are going to break it down. Now, to start, this thing was almost fully built upon one soundtrack, one little music track, and we'll play that here in just a second. But let's watch the full intro real quick, and then we're going to break this thing down for you. So, from the top, let's see what we got here. Just hooked up with our first carp on the fly. We got to take him over here. He's going to get us in the tree. Carp on. There we go. Car fishing on the fly. Mug. And then there you go. We cut straight into the GoPro. We're at the river. We're catching these carp on. And uh, yeah, that's what you got. So let's go ahead and break this thing down for you, ladies and gents. Now, to start things off, let's isolate the sound that this is really based off of, okay? Because I kind of listened to this. So I was a little inspired, you might say. And it's kind of what I built it all around, right? A lot of these drone clips, it makes some cinematic looking footage look easy. Or, or it makes the editing kind of easy too. So the drone footage helped. Let's go ahead and play this for you. So we can isolate the sound by hitting option S, okay? So this is the one sound. I've selected the sound and I hit option S. Here we go. Mm, so right off the bat, it's that buildup. As I've started a speed ramp, we'll talk about how I did that. Then the first transition, there's kind of like a right as the bird starts flying, and then you'll almost hear it. It's almost like a helicopter. It's almost like a whirring, like a woo, 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 woo. Right here as we're essentially flying above the river. Then I've got the one zoom transition, okay? It zooms in quickly, and, uh, and it's to us on the ground. And it's with a whoosh, so it's like there's like kind of a whoosh, whoosh. The transition's on the first whoosh. There's more sound effects coming. We're going to break more down for you right now. So then one more whoosh cuts into the drone of us kind of circling the dam here, right? A lot of build up into the transition of the carp on the fly. And then that cross dissolve into the text. Fantastic. Let's uh, talk about it. So, and then also this kind of cross dissolve that leads us into the to the footage here. So, what did we add though to get that whole hype first intro? Okay, so starting from the top, let's get rid of the sound and let's show kind of some effects real quick. So, we're going to just go ahead and mute this whole thing, mute, and you'll notice that right from the top, look at the colors. It's like real bright. The water looks green. I wanted something a little bit darker and more eerie, I guess, for this type of intro. And so I added an adjustment layer, okay? You can download these. There's different places. I don't even remember where I got the link to this. But you can download adjustment layers, and then essentially it's just a plug-in. And so now when I go to titles, I literally have the adjustment layers right here you can see on the top left, okay? So I added an adjustment layer, and I wanted it to cover all of the intro clips because what I'm going to do is add a LUT. So this is like kind of color grading. This is custom colors, right? So I added the LUT. Now if we activate the LUT, you will see everything is blue, right? So you notice everything is kind of taken on in a different color scheme. Seems a little darker, a little more mysterious. Now if I take that out, okay? So here's it with the colors, right? I'm just kind of skimming through. If I take that off, now you can see everything is still that green and looks bright out, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Off on. A little bit of a difference there. Now, there's also some motion blur here. I added a speed ramp. So as that buildup is coming in, right, as that is coming in, what I've done is I have added a speed ramp with the keys shift and B. So let's kind of test that. I'll show you exactly what we did. So if I wanted to like start going from slow to speeding things up, even though the drone wasn't flying any faster, I would hit shift B. Okay, now we've got the speed ramp and we can really speed that clip up from right where I want it to start speeding up. So I just affected the whole clip, it's gonna be all messed up. But now you'll see it's like, oh, it's so fast. Yeah, I already sped it up and I just sped it up even more. So you add a speed ramp with shift B and then you can kind of play with the settings, like how fast you want it to speed up. You can shorten the portions of the clip. So I'm gonna undo that. <laughs> but you can see how I've added that speed ramp. So it starts to build up and then the drone starts flying really fast. But then I added some motion blur, okay? So you'll see, it, uh, if, I, if I take away this motion blur that I added as I started to speed things up, if I take that away, now it's like the clip has sped up. I'll play it in real time. The clip has sped up, but there's no 
there's almost no sense of motion. Like the frame rate's too fast, and so you don't get to capture that, right? So if I add that motion blur back in by just hitting V, if you hit V, it kind of activates any adjustment or music or clip. It just kind of takes it away from the timeline, right? So if I were to like hit V on this main clip, it just straight up takes it out of the frame. So I hit V again, boom, it reiterates it reactivates it. So now with the motion blur activated, you can see as that speed ramp kicks in, there's more motion. Okay, so that's what we wanted, that motion. So we've added that for that first transition. And so that takes care of the clips at the top, aside from the text here at the end, right? And with that text at the end, we've also added a nice little sound effect. So let me kick the sound back on, okay? And let's hear that sound effect right when the text hits. Boom carp on the fly so we added a hit there okay you can find lots of you can use epidemic sound you can use uh, there's so many different places where you can download different sounds and there's like the hits and the whooshes and all these transitions all this stuff right so boom a nice hit with the text cinematic then we've got three transitions in the whole deal okay nothing major so let me mute it again so we've got the first transition which is just a nice little cross dissolve right it just fades into the uh, the water i just wanted you to see that bird with that sound effect the craw for a brief second right boom and then it fades to the water so a cross dissolve so that's right over here in transitions in the bottom right boom it's like the main transition in any editor iMovie don't matter cross dissolve is always there for you uh, that is the same with the cross dissolve that then leads into the black frame I've got here and then another cross dissolve that leads us into the start of the GoPro footage. So I've got three cross dissolves there in the first 15 seconds, but the one that's a little bit different is this zoom transition, okay? So we zoom from the water, we zoom, we zoom, we zoom, and we zoom into us on the ground with a little whoosh, okay? So that sound effect was downloaded. Uh, it is a zoom transition, custom fade, zoom in, okay? So boom, it's got that custom fade with the zoom in. Nothing crazy. But it's, it's good with the whoosh to kind of transition from this aerial shot to then whew, us on the ground. Now I've got this underlying sound effect, okay? I'm going to bring the sound back in because as a few things are playing, we're going to start to reincorporate these sounds into the mixture. You're going to like this. So let me unmute that. Now, so this sound, that's, uh, this was essentially a clip of me fishing with the carp on the fly. Let's just watch this clip. Hooked up with our first carp on Oh, you can see it. Hooked up with our first carp on the fly. Right, so this is actually a clip that I just added underneath other video because all I wanted was the audio. So here, here's how it plays out, right? Here's, how, here's what you hear. Let's just isolate the clip too, by the way. I don't want to hear all this extra crap. Let's isolate this clip. Just hooked up with our first carp on the fly. We got to take him over here. He's going to get us in the tree. Okay, so there's other sound effects going on, but now you see what's going on. You want to add a little intensity to it, so we've added that right there. Then, let's um, let's bring in the major sound effect, right? The one that kind of, no, let's actually wait on that. I want to show you some of the other uh, smaller, more delicate sounds that we've added here. So we got that pet text, and then I wanted you, with the transition leading into the bird in the first couple seconds, I wanted you to hear like that call, right? That like a screech from a bird. So that's what I looked up was bird screech under sound effects, and I was able to find a couple different sounds. So let's play the first one uh do do isolate that isolate that so here's the first bird screech right as that transition hits right okay you got that one then let's listen to this one you got this one so i kind of used those two okay so if i select them both at the same time now i kind of have like stacked them essentially so i get like a you know, just a custom sound effect here we go so it starts off with that and it ends up with the screech and then you get them together Nice little transition as you see the bird fly away, right? Gravy. Then we've got some bird flying sound effects. So let's check that out real quick. So there's birds flying right here. You can hardly see because the, the drone's going by so quickly. But there's some birds flying, and then, of course, you see the one. And so if we isolate the sound... So you get a little bit of uh, wings flapping with the bird there. And I just kind of thought it was really quiet with all the other stuff going on, so I added two of them, right? So I just kind of stacked that sound effect. You can see I've got two of them here. Then there's the waves, okay? This wave sound effect here was added for this shot, okay? I wanted you to hear that rushing water even though the drone is not capturing audio. So if we isolate that sound, right, uh, it starts to, you start to hear it right about here with the transition of the bird, then you start to visually see the water flowing, but I just wanted that sound to come in early so your brain doesn't have to register all that at one time, right? You hear a little bit of the sound first, it's nice and easier to, um, mm, makes the transition more seamless in your mind, okay? What am I trying to say? So 
things are nice and smoothly. Now there's a quick transition out because with the other sound effects, there's a nice whoosh straight to us on the ground. So let me let me unisolate that, and you'll you'll catch that I mean. With our first carp on the fly. We whoosh, and then there's no more need for the water sound effect because we're not over the water anymore. But I do kick it back in right here. So you'll notice I've added that secondary waves effect as we transition to the drone clip again. Let me play it for you. So we're just wanting to hear that distant uh, rushing water from the dam that we've kind of already established in the opening shot. And then, of course, it fades out when we get the carp on the fly with that buildup. So we're going to play just the waves right here so you see what I mean. Boom. Stops. But it also stops at this buildup as that whole climactic intro comes to a uh, conclusion here. So let's play the whole deal. All right. Carp on. Wow. Okay, fantastic. Carp on. And then this clip, there wasn't too much interesting right after we hooked up with this carp. He kind of, he didn't, he didn't play too crazy. He didn't run like wild. It took a moment. So I just kind of faded straight out and into a dark screen where we added the text with that sound effect. Carp on. There we go. Frost dissolve. Boom. And then I had this text. Um, I wanted it to pop up in your face instead of fade in with that sound effect. So it's just straight to it, but then it does fade out, okay? So you can adjust that in the settings up here, by the way. So if I move myself and I go to the, anytime you've got a clip selected, so I'm on the text, you're just kind of making all the adjustments up here um, as you click through. And so what I've done is the, uh, the fade in duration, I've taken to zero, okay? So it starts off at like a default. So here's what it would have looked like without, without any adjustment. So you hear the th you hear the boom, but it just fades in. It's kind of lame. Yeah, not, yeah. So, anyways, I took that fade in duration and I just eliminate, uh, eliminated it. So I wanted it to fade out, right, with that slow cross dissolve transition into the GoPro clips, but I wanted it to be abrupt with that boom, with that hit, right? End result. Okay. Did I miss anything? I don't know if I missed anything. So essentially, let me mute this. We've got the uh, we've got the color grade. We've got that motion blur. We've got the few cross dissolve and the one zoom transition. We've now got the waves playing in the background, so you hear that rushing water. Then we it all comes to a conclusion conclusion when we get that carp on the hook, and then it fades out. But then lastly, you got that. Boom! This is what you came here for. Carp fishing on the fly, which then fades out to seeing us on site. And I didn't really get a good intro clip, so you guys are just stuck with GoPro from there on out. But sometimes you got to get that hype intro to keep people uh, in the mix, right? You want them to be like, whoa, what am I about to witness? Carp on the fly. This has never looked so fun. And so that is, of course, the goal here. So we talked about that speed ramp. You can see this is where it's that normal speed. There's kind of like a green color. And then this is that ramp. It starts to speed up. And right about now, we're at the max speed. And we added that motion, that motion blur, right? So that's kind of the whole deal. We can watch that one more time. We're going to close this out. Hope you all enjoyed it. Are we on mute? We are on mute. Here we go. Just hooked up with our first carp on the fly. We got to take him over here. He's going to get us in the tree. Carp on. There we go. Let's go. Come on. Ma. All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this little intro skit. Uh, hopefully you learned something from it. Uh, a lot of these sounds were from Epidemic Sound. It, number one for YouTubers out there, it's non-copywritten sounds, which makes a huge deal uh, because I've, I downloaded from no copyright sounds. I just kind of like got sounds from this YouTube channel that claimed stuff was no copyright in the past. And now a lot of my older videos are getting hit for copyright strikes, which means you can no longer monetize those videos, which means you no longer make money from the views that you worked hard for, right? So you got to go with somebody who's got the credibility like epidemic sound my opinion it's like a $15 a month service. You get all the sound effects and music you could ever want. It's what I use for most of the stuff here. Uh, then the transitions, I think I downloaded from, oh my goodness, I can't remember the specific place, but there's so many different transition pack plugins where it literally goes straight to Final Cut Pro. So you can see for yourself right down here, we've got those, uh, let me X out of the full screen if I can. So we've got that transition segment, right? And then boom, um, M transition, uh, M transition. I've got a couple different transition packs from them, I guess. But yeah, so you can see all your transitions and these two over here are just plugins okay mm -hmm. that uh don't forget about your adjustment layer right we downloaded an adjustment layer you're gonna have to check that out online because i don't even remember where we got that either but then that allowed me to mm -hmm. essentially put those custom luts overlay that color correction and those custom luts came from 
Uh, where did those come from? So if I select that layer, this, I just want to provide you guys with everything we did here today, so if I can, okay? So that custom LUT, I'm going to select that color grade that I had for all the intro clips. And it is, oh goodness gracious, I think it's from Lens Distortions. You can see we've got a bunch of different custom LUTs. So if I actually wanted to change the colors on the fly, I can. So check this out. Let's go to this clip right here. Let's say we want to change the colors, because this is what I did. I went through a few different color options. Went through a few different color options. So dark pearl is the one I went with. But let's say we wanted cashmere. I got a few different options on all these. So boom, there's your cashmere. We got the amber X. We've got the explorer teal. We've got different options, right? So I kind of just went through a, a bunch of these. Here's tonal sand. So just kind of more the... Uh, takes away some of the blues, changes some of those greens, um, Pacific Coast, you know, you got diff different options. And then there's even variations of each specific one. So P Pacific Coast 2, did a little bit with contrast there, Pacific Coast 3, maybe it just brightened up a few mid-tones. Anyways, I kind of went through those colors, right, and I just skimmed through. I'm like, okay, do I like this? How do I like it across the board? And I ended up settling on the custom LUT, which was dark pearl and I think I just went with dark pearl number one so I ended up watching a few clips and I'm like that's what I want for this and uh, so that's how we got that custom color right there and then same thing with the uh, motion blur that was also a plugin I downloaded I don't remember where I found it this is all stuff we've just had for a while so I've got a few different motion blur um, effects that we can just drag down here anytime we want right so if I speed something up let me give you a perfect example of how we did that we're gonna just go ahead and mess this clip up real quick we can fix it later uh, sorry to throw you all so much extra uh, value here at the end Definitely drop a like and subscribe if you're into it. So, say we wanted to do another speed ramp, right? We wanted to, boom, we want to speed up how that clip then circles around the trees. We might have to really speed it up because it was flying really slow. Okay, so we've got this motion blur, right? But what I want to do is I really only want to have that motion blur kick in when the drone starts to move fast and almost maybe lead into the next shot like a transition. So I'll add that motion blur almost right over where it's really sped up, okay? So here it's normal, and then it's going to start to speed up, and you'll see that motion blur kick in, and it's still kind of rendering. Now we're good. Let's go ahead and play it. Oh, that was kind of terrible. So there's so little motion that the motion blur didn't do too much. I can see a couple like little lines, but it really was much more enhanced here because you're making, I sped the drone clip up so much as it was flying backwards. And actually, if, I, if I'm being real, this clip was actually filmed with the drone flying towards the dam. Okay, this clip was filmed with the drone flying towards the dam and I just reversed it and that's my intro clip. So that's one thing I forgot to mention. But anyways, y'all, that's, uh, that's the motion blur. I just got that from a plugin and all that stuff and now I done messed up my whole video so I need to just hit Command Z to get rid of all this stuff I added. I'm gonna get rid of that motion blur. I need to get rid of the speed ramp. I just need to get rid of it all. Now I think we're back to where we, where we started. Cool. So now I'm going to just zoom out on my timeline by hitting command minus and you can kind of see that whole 15 seconds. And this is all we've done there. Those few transitions sound on the bottom of me talking, right? We've got that trailer hit. We've got the uh, main sound effect. We've got the waves. We've got the bird sound effects. We've got some transitions. We've got that bird screech. We've got the motion blur. We've got it all. Ladies and gents, I really do hope you enjoyed it. Got something from it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next little uh, video editing tutorial. Sweet!